The audiologist came back in the room and told us she is profoundly deaf. My heart was broken. Um, I just knew that, that she was deaf and she couldn't hear anything. We didn't know how we were going to communicate. We didn't know, you know, what to do or if there was a solution for the problem. That she would never get to hear my voice, hear our voices. Yep. She came to us with about 10 words, maybe. What a big girl you are. Those that are profoundly deaf get an implant called a cochlear implant. Red. Red. You're so smart. But in that, um, there's a language gap. And we work really hard to get the language where it needs to be in a four to five year time period. It is the goal of Sound Start to equip them and make them successful in a hearing environment. Things like A, B, C sound so close or your numbers 13, 14, 15. So many of those things are a challenge for our kids and when you put our children in a mainstream or regular ed environment they have to be they have to work harder than the other kids, their hearing peers. She talks um, just as normal as any hearing three-year-old would, yeah. and we owe it all to that program. You know, whenever we had Caroline and she was deaf, we are like, how are we going to, well, you know, what do we do? Well, I don't even, I've never even heard of cochlear implants before this, and just to know that, you know, in a way is not already thought of it, but they provided a way. Just is so, so amazing. He just likes, you know, the animals. He loves to take care of animals. They've all been, they've taken him under his wing. They, they really enjoy working with him. He enjoys them. He keeps them entertained. He uh, cleans the stalls. He waters the horses. He pretty much helps Mr. John, you know, and they have a good working rapport, you know, and he just loves it. And they've been wonderful with him. He's learned so much, you know, he's overcoming fears um, that he has, and they're working with him. All right, what do we say? <laughs> if it wasn't for the funds that Faith gets from United Way, it wouldn't be possible. He, he's more willing to take part and be a part of the family and do have his own responsibilities, you know, which he didn't have before. He would just stay in his room. Oh, you're gonna make a friend. I don't think he'd be anywhere. I mean, if it wasn't for Faith and United Way, he wouldn't have the opportunities that he has now to have a job, you know, to learn the skills, you know. If it wasn't for United Way, you know, contributing, I, I wouldn't know where he would be, to be honest. It helps children with disabilities to meet their goals, you know, and uh, be a part of life. My hope in the, for him in the future would be to be stable. If anything should happen to me or my husband, he can continue on. And, you know, I hope United Way would always be there, you know. All for one and one for all. Your contribution to the United Way means that individuals, ones like Caroline and Matthew, will get the help they need to live their best lives. Bringing together all of the resources of the entire community means that the United Way is the one organization that can effectively address problems and improve lives. All for one, one for all. Live united, give united.